Cheers. Get the suds flowing by starting at Fort Collins Brewery, not just for beer, but for lunch. We are actually the only Northern Colorado brewery that has a full-time restaurant attached to it. Gravity 1020 is a modern tavern. As for the beer, well, Fort Collins Brewery makes seven full-time beers and numerous seasonals. Like the Woody, it's aged in oak barrels for six months. Picks up a lot of the oak flavors, a lot of the vanilla flavors that are actually in the beer. And jump in on a brewery tour. I always like to say, you know, you're in a Colorado brewery when they're using boat paddles as uh, their, their stirring spoon. Next stop, Funk Works, a quirky smaller brewery where we sit outside and chat with assistant brewer Andy Mitchell. Funk Works specializes in Belgian style saisons. Style of beer that a lot of people really like, it's very approachable, uh, but a lot of people don't know a lot about. A big tip from Andy, go glass. The tapered shape of the glass helps trap the aroma in. If you really want to experience any type of beer, you should pour it into a glass. Then look at the color to see how hazy the beer is. Swirl with your hand on top of the glass and smell. And smell it. That's how you capture the aromas from orange and ginger to chocolate and vanilla, depending on the beer. It's on the Easy Street at Odell Brewing Company, where you can order pints and taster trays. Odell brews six classic beers, three seasonals, and what Odell calls their portal to beer Shangri-La, the pilot system. Moving to the pilot and the co-pilot, there's going to be a little more adventurous. It's all beers coming off of our small batch system. That system allows the brewers to experiment with new recipes. We're up for beer adventure and tasting the pilot flight. Mischievous mustache. Yep, that's one of the beer names and the co-pilot flight with a beer called Truck Stop. <laughs> On to New Belgium, the third largest craft brewery in the United States. Our liquid center world rocker, yes, that's Tyler's title, takes us on a tour starting with the art of drinking beer and drive-by sniffs. Do a start on one side and drive it by and then bring it back. If you really want to enhance the flavors, try retro nasal olfaction. Take a sip. You're then going to take a big deep whip in through your nose while the beer is still in your mouth. Next upstairs in the brew house, we see where wort or unfermented beer is made. It's the starting process of beer. On the floor around each vat is a mosaic that tells the story of the brewery. We make a stop in the room called Fodder's Forest, where beer is aged up to three years in French barrels to make New Belgian sour beers like the Tart Lychee. This one right here is called Tart Lychee, so it's got some of our light sour. It's mixed in with a, a strong Belgian lager, and then we put a bunch of lychee fruit in there. Next stop is in what's called the Thunderdome to check out the canning room and taste Shift. It's one of New Belgium's canned beers. We finish the New Belgian tour by sliding down a slide. That's right, a slide. My turn. And end the tour with a high five from Tyler. Cheers. Oh.